I'm honored. Let me, uh, let me add my welcome as well. Welcome to CSU. I want to talk for just a minute about three different sets of paradoxes that I hope you will all experience and struggle with while you're here. And the first is that you're elite. Think about it for a moment. Of all the people born the same year you were born, by the time you wound up in your first day in school, many of them were no longer able to look at education as a future. Of the people who started that first day with you, many didn't finish high school. More still, weren't able to attend one of America's leading public research universities. You are elite, and yet you've chosen to come to a non-elitist institution, an institution tracing its lineage back to Abraham Lincoln and the idea that anyone with the head and the heart, the talent and the motivation to earn a college degree ought to have that opportunity. And embedded in that heritage, embedded in the DNA of this institution, are things you've heard other speakers talk about. Rolling up your sleeves, making a difference. You see that in cans around the Oval. You'll see it in all sorts of service projects. You'll see it in the ability to get involved in research labs and projects while you're here as a student. Don't wait to come back across this stage to graduate, to make a difference. Start making a difference now. That's part of who you are as a RAM. The second paradox that I want you to think about is really letting go and having fun, and at the same time, staying in control and being safe. You heard Tristan talk about it. College is one of the greatest times of your life. It can be a wonderful experience, and that's what we want for every single one of you. And yet I am here to tell you that there's not a single human being who has walked this earth who hasn't been subject to the disease of severe, acute, idiopathic lapse of judgment. <laughs> when it happens to you, I think one of the best jokes I ever heard was actually from an engineering student at a CSU's Got Talent Night. She said that, you know, when I make a mistake, I look at myself in the mirror the next morning and I say, it's not too late to become the person the admissions people thought I was. But take care of each other. You'll see people around you making mistakes. Help them out. Pick them up. Rams take care of rams. I'll add this to the men in this audience. The data are really clear that men cause sexual violence, and so men can stop it, and we need to do it now. Each and every one of you has the head and the heart to succeed here. You have amazing talents. We have big problems waiting for you to engage them. Take care of each other. Get every single one of you across this stage in four years at graduation. Make your link a link in a chain that extends unbroken back to the desk of Abraham Lincoln. Make it a strong link. And the last paradox that I want you to wrestle with is challenging everything and accepting everything. We want you at this university to challenge everything that you hear. In the classroom, in the open marketplace of ideas, we want you to leave this place as critical thinkers. And yet at the same time, I want you to work on accepting views that other people have that may not be your own. You will hear people express things that you'll disagree with. You'll hear people express things that may well make your blood boil. That's the open marketplace and exchange of ideas. And a university cannot exist if it does not traffic in the open exchange of ideas. All ideas are welcome here and they are protected here. But that does not mean you have to embrace all ideas. It does not mean you have to accept them. It does not mean you have to give up your beliefs for someone else's. And this whole conversation is distinct 
from the idea related to but distinct from the idea of speech and hate speech. There are people who would use this cherished possession that we have, this freedom of speech, this open exchange of ideas, and would use it to express hateful ideologies that don't seek to exchange ideas but, seem to, but exist to silence others, to frighten, to divide, to shut down the marketplace of ideas. And when that happens, you should know that we do not have to accept those ideas in silence, and you do not have to hear them alone. We as a university will stand up to those ideas. We will let people know that that is not what Colorado State is about, that we can and we will disagree about virtually everything, but we will do so in a respectful manner while caring about each other. There is no place for hate at Colorado State University. If you embrace those three sets of paradoxes, if you can understand how special and how elite you are, and yet treat this experience in the non-elitist, roll up your sleeves and get dirt under your fingernails way, if you can make this one of the best times of your life and take care of everyone around you, and if you can embrace your own uh, ideas, evaluate everything you hear criti critically, and listen to others, this will be a wonderful time. This is your university now. You are a part of CSU every bit as much as all of us here in these robes. This university cannot be anything more or less than what you make her. Welcome to CSU.